Hey guys, what's up? It's the Swanee 3 here, back again with another Minecraft video. Today, we are going to be making some glass. <clears throat> now, what does this mean? It means that I have to make a big old furnace array. And my plan for that is to build it right down over here. And then I will also make the squid farm that is going to go in the mountain. Let's get into the episode. All right, guys. So I'm going to start out with the furnace array. And this is how it is going to be. So this is 20 straight down this line. So I'll have 20 furnaces on both sides of the wall, followed by six on the back. So in total, that would be 46 uh, items being smelted per smelt time, I guess. I don't know how to describe it. I'm just going to quickly build this up a little bit, at least. And I will see you guys when that is done. All right, guys. So here is all of the furnaces. I've been smelting up some glass just because that's the thing that I want. And let's quickly go over how it works. So this is a fuel input. And so right now I'm using a bunch of coal. So if I were to put coal in there, which I don't have any more of because all of mine is now in this system, this hopper would pick it up and it would fill up to go all the way around and back. And so it just goes around and fills up one in each hopper. Same thing for over here. This is uh, the other thing. So let me go grab some more sand. So if we throw all this sand in, it gets picked up and that hopper then goes around and it starts smelting up the glass and it can, and it has enough to hopefully fill up every t every one two times and then it all funnels through these hoppers over into those output chests well now i'm going to design this room or something I don't know what to call it right now because there's no roof or anything I'm probably gonna make it a cave but I will this is gonna be the first thing to be in the style of the whole inside of the base so this is the preview for what the inside of the base is gonna look like and we're gonna probably put stairs here and stairs here let the furnaces show because that's the whole point of this place and yeah, hopefully make this look pretty natural and all that stuff. So let's get into this build. All right, guys, I have finished the cave for all the furnaces. And this is the style that I'm going to do for the whole entire base. And um, yeah, I think this looks really nice. And we've got output here. And we have input here. Oh, I need to put some signs up. Oof, I gotta do that. But, yeah, we've got those two things. You just drop all the items and they flow up there into those chests, which fill the hoppers. So, yeah, that's the cave. Now I have to go build a squid farm because I want to start creating the fog effect on the storage room floor, which would mean that I have got to get a lot of ink sacks because I've got zero right now. I'm gonna now make the squid farm. All right, guys, I made a quick little path right here just to get over into this little mountain and I'm going to build a squid farm here. So yeah, um, this is gonna take a lot of sugar cane because I think that's the style or that's the type of farm that I want to make. So, yeah, I'm just going to quickly build that. And, um, yeah, I'll see you guys when I'm done. All right, guys. I have finished the squid farm in this room over here. So, this is it. And, yes, it looks funky. So, yeah, right now there won't be squid spawning because I'm here. And when I'm within, like, I think 27 blocks, no mobs will spawn. So... That includes these guys. So, 
yeah, let's explain this. So the sugar cane is holding in all of the water, and the water is one high because a uh, a squid's hitbox is bigger than that, so they would fall on that chute. And this is filled with kelp because we don't want fish to be spawning, just squids. So fish can't spawn in kelp, but squid can for some reason. I don't know why that is, but it is. And uh, yeah, so there is that as well. I don't think I missed any at least. Yeah, so let's drop down to the bottom here. And so that's a big enough drop from that block down to here for the squid to die. And they all fall down here on this platform and all the squid die, clearly. <coughs> and then there's this minecart that goes around and it picks up all the squid drops. Does it have anything right now? No, no, it does not. But yeah, it comes over here, and this is an unloading station. So if this hopper has things going through it, let's just throw some arrows, this will turn off, and the minecart won't be able to move. And that happens because this detects if that has stuff in it, which turns off this torch, which turns off this repeater, which unpowers this block, which unpowers this, and vice versa. All right, guys, so I made a little platform up there, and I sat here at AFK for 30 minutes, maybe. And I got this many ink sacks. Probably not as many as I'm supposed to get, but that's fine. I don't really care. Um, it's enough for now. So I am going to go up there, and I will start uh, building. Or not start. I will continue building that uh, the storage floor, the, the floor of the storage room. Alright guys, I have finished building the fog effect glass under the storage, and right now I've just got torches here. I'm probably going to replace this top block with that kind of build style there, so that way I can make it be a part of the rest of the build inside of here. But, yeah, there's torches on everything, so let's describe how this works really fast. Um, got black glass, and then gray, black, gray, black. And then there's a billion torches down here covering every single block so that the uh, whole place can be lit up. And boom. You can barely see the torches down there. So that's, that's what I wanted. And yeah, it looks pretty good. Looks like there's fog down there, which is nice. So now we are going to move on to continuing building the mountain section behind me. So we are going to build this up and I'll probably see you guys when I'm like halfway done. All right guys, I have finished just about half of the mountain. So let's look at it really fast. Right now I'm going with the uh, this version of the approach. I don't know how to describe it. So um. This is how it's going. It's looking pretty good so far. And, um, yeah, let's give it an aerial view real fast. Yeah, it looks pretty good so far. We're almost up to the height everywhere except for the middle. So, yeah, I'm just going to keep on building this, and then it will be done with this part. All right, guys, as you can see, this part of the mountain is now finished. It looks quite dandy. actually quite like it. So now, the whole front side is up to that level. Which is nice, because the hook's right there. So, yeah. Now, the mountain is where it is. 
today was very eventful. Got this whole furnace array system set up. Oh, I got glass in here. I didn't even notice. And started laying out the way, the concept of the interior of this place. Got the storage room floor all done. And made a big old squid farm. Oh, and this whole mountain here. So yeah, this was, this was a lot of progress, which is really good. Progress, progress, progress. Good, good, good. Well, anyways, thank you guys for watching me play Minecraft. And as always, peace out, nerds.